Well, didn't at the time uh, to do uh, something else then. I can see Vagon. It's an installation. An airplane. I'm inventing the airplane. I think you may have been beaten. Oh, thank you for breaking the news so gently. So, why? Well, uh, sometimes reasons are hard to come by. Maybe it's easy for you, I don't know. But one day in London, I realised that I, I didn't know anything about it. Flight. And, and you know, something so simple, and I, I just didn't have a clue. And, uh, you know, suddenly seemed important. Yeah. Gravity is my thing, too. Anyway, what else am I supposed to do with this shit? Can't seem to get rid of it. Or maybe I try reconstituting it instead, you know. Mm, why the gun? Ah, well, I want to tell you about this artist, Paul Clay. Mm. Uh, used to wait by an airfield in the First World War, right? And, uh, you know, if an airplane crashed, you know, he'd go out at night and he'd use it uh, and strip it down and, and make his canvases, right? And, uh, well, I mean, I, you know, I'm doing it the other way around and putting it back and, uh, I don't know, the, uh, the gun seemed uh, appropriate. Will it fly? I don't see any real reason why not. I mean, you know, for fuck's sake. Old uh, Wilbur and Orville, right? I mean, you know, it was just 120 feet against the wind. 12 seconds, all it was. I mean, that constitutes flight. I mean, you know, saying that as it stands, it's a bit unbalanced, you know, this way. But uh, I reckon, you know, counterbalance, whoops, you, you know, that should solve it. I mean, yeah, I mean, it has to fly. Otherwise, you know, how, how do you know you understand? It's beautiful. Thank you. Um, Richard. Yeah. I have a favour to ask. Of course, go ahead. Mm. I've uh, pre prepared it. Oh. Well, right. Otherwise, it would be here all night. <laughs> well, hit that play button. Okay. And uh, brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was not always like this, Richard. My symptoms only became noticeable when I was about 18. It was then we moved back here. Until then I was, to all intents and purposes, a normal young woman. And not entirely unattractive either. So much so, that I had a boyfriend, Stephen Mills. A little nerdy perhaps, but in his favor he was male. Once, on my 17th birthday, he asked to sleep with me. Stupidly, I declined. Every subsequent day I have regretted that cowardice. Every newspaper I now read seems one big reference to sex. In every book, film, television, drama, soap, comedy or even game show, sex is the impetus. It is more important even than money. Money is a means to an end. Sex is the end. Richard, the favor I ask of you is to help me lose my virginity.
relax. I'm not asking you to do the awful deed. No, there are places in London that can help. And you know London, Richard. You can help. Other than a few early teething troubles, I think our interaction is as two adults. You may not know it, but that makes you unique in my life. And I know in saying this, I am risking that. But then perhaps you will understand how important this is to me. Say something. Um. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Uh, yeah, you know, this is um. Well, it's, uh, a bit strange. I um, know. I mean. Uh, Jen, I, 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 I know what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, I, I think, and I, I, I respect that, but, um, I mean, are you sure you're not getting this a little bit out of perspective? I mean, it's not a great uh, religious experience. I, I mean, you know, I'm sure people enjoy it, but they don't, you know, come away from it saying, ah, the meaning of life is... Look, I can't do it on my own. Yeah, well, for the most part, I manage. Yeah, I can't even do that anymore. Jane, I mean, I not wish to put too fine a point on it, but... Do you know if you can... Do it. Mm. My illness does not affect my sense of touch or sensation at all. Yeah. Jane, this is, uh, it's, uh, I don't know about this, really, I mean... Well, <clears throat> let's get realistic, then. Look, I know, believe me, I'll never get the whole deal. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't get as much as I can. Now, will you help? Or will I have to find someone else? I can't do this, Jane. It's not a good idea. For you, for me. I'm staying here. I've got to do my thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, take me home, please. to meet Becky. Hello, Jane. I've been hearing all about you. <laughs> Hope it's not all true. <laughs> Don't be rude, darling. Please. That's okay, Anne. As I was just saying to Catherine, I look after a little boy with Down syndrome, so I'm quite